Ask Reddit by Robert Spires. What has society become way too dependent on? Instant gratification. I recently uninstalled TikTok and FB for this reason. Least I have to scroll through Reddit for a while for my gratification. Predigested information. Seems most people just want to be spoon-fed a position and a neat synopsis of an issue instead of actually investigating themselves and coming to their own conclusions. So what should be done about this problem and how should I feel? Phones. Phone. Text. Clock. Camera. Calculator. Internet. Games. Videos. Weather. GPS. Pedometer. Our phones basically run most of our lives now. Sucks that there's basically no expectation of being unreachable anymore. Social media's grasp on society is alarming. What started as a platform for connection and sharing has become a critical source of validation for many. Our self-worth is increasingly measured by likes, shares, and followers, leading to a constant pursuit of online approval. This dependency not only skews our perception of self but also how we view and interact with the world around us. GPS I couldn't imagine having to print out MapQuest to go on a road trip. Hagstrom's maps went bankrupt almost at the same time the first GPS satellite hit orbit. The Internet. EHH. I feel it'll eventually be viewed as a utility like water, electric, gas, etc. I have to wonder if there were opponents to that newfangled electricity when it became available to the masses. Cell phones. Suddenly it's like an appendage. I'm not sure when it happened, but it happened. All the payphones vanished from my area, if there ever were any. Cheap labor. Whether it's goods from China, delivery apps or fast food, the western way of life is subsidized by someone not being paid a fair wage. What's wild is how not worth it it's become, too. The quality of these goods is in the basement. It's essentially trash right off the production line. We're not actually getting anything of value for the policy, not anymore. Social media. I don't know if it's by design or FOMO. But a lot of people nowadays take what they see on social media to shape a lot of their life and decisions which I feel is not a good way to about it, especially since what you see on there are only snippets of the best moments in someone's life. Credit cards and the culture of debt they foster have made society overly dependent on borrowing. This reliance on credit for everyday purchases to major life events encourages living beyond means and contributes to a cycle of debt that can be hard to escape. It shifts the focus from saving and investing to immediate consumption, impacting financial stability and independence. Energy consumption, especially fossil fuels, is an unsustainable dependency that society struggles to move away from. Despite knowing the environmental impacts, the convenience and immediate costs of alternative energy sources have slowed the transition to greener options. This dependence not only exacerbates climate change but also hinders innovation in renewable energy technologies. Internet. We would crumble without internet. Internet. Fossil fuels. I can't believe people are saying phones over fossil fuels. Is that a sign that we're screwed? Electricity. Until 130 years ago most people hadn't even heard of electricity. Now we cannot live without it. All these other comments become immediately irrelevant without electricity. None of those other things really exist without it. Electronic devices. Validation from others. Isn't that the human condition given that we are social animals? Rage scrolling. Post Y2K technology. Anything related to smartphones. These so-called AI, S and voice activated devices. Celebrity hero worship media. Reality TV. Corporations. 
It's funny how historically speaking we switched out depending on people we've got to know and trust over time, communities, to basically outsource most of our needs to a plethora of strangers who could a, not be relied on as soon as money is out of the question and b, couldn't even do their own job without a thousand dependencies of their own. Lip balm. You may not know it, but you are. I saw these packets of 50 year anniversary lip smackers a while back. Who knew they'd been around so long? Technology and power. I've seen glimpses when the power goes out for a day and I tell ya, we're toast if it permanently went out lol. Cheap labor. Technology. Anything is technology pretty much even cooking meat with fire. Google.